Good morning to you, Alex. Morning. Okay, Alex Radford from Legal Services in Spain. And we're talking to Alex this morning uh, regarding the golden visa for Spain. And that comes under the website banner getspanishresidency.com. So if you're ready, Alex, you can tell us more about the golden visa for Spain. Certainly. So, so today we're talking about the golden visa for Spain and what you need to know. If you wish to spend more than 90 days in a 180 day period in Spain and you have owned a property or intend to buy uh, owned the property since 27th of September 2013 or intend to buy a property with a price tag greater than 500,000 euros, then the golden visa is for you. That that. The, the, the 500,000 euros can be a property, so a single property, or can be a combination of properties, but there can be no mortgages mortgages or charges on that property. Okay, so why instruct GetSpanishResidency.com? Well, basically, because we're experienced in obtaining Spanish residency visas for all over Spain and the islands. We have native English speaking staff. We deal with the whole process from start to finish, including completing the official forms on your behalf, the visa and the TIE card in Spain. We advise you what documents to provide and we pre-check everything. We help prioritize the documents for you to ensure they're not out of date for your appointment and we can also act for you in the property purchase. So what do you need to know? So basically, yeah, first of all, you've got to buy that property or properties uh, worth 500,000 euros or more and they've got to be free of debts. You'll need private medical insurance in place. So if you visit our website, legalservicesofspain.com and scroll down, you'll find some insurance brokers there and they can obtain quotes from you from various insurance companies uh, for that health insurance. We'll need a specific medical certificate uh, from your GP in your home country. We'll also need a clean criminal record certificate from you. And if you're married and applying with a spouse, a duplicate marriage certificate. Also, uh, to confirm and prove that you've purchased that property, we have to apply for a specific land registry search from the land registry, uh, which obviously we can obtain that, and the financial resources. The financial resources can be a combination of income or savings, um, and you have to prove that you've, in effect, got €2,259.60 per month, or savings totaling 27,115 or 20 euros. For a spouse or dependent child, monthly amount of 564 euros 90 or yearly of 6,778 euros. For a married couple, you need to prove that you've got income or savings of 33,894 euros or for a family of four, 47,000 451 euros dot 60. The golden visa allows you to work in Spain and can be applied for from either the Spanish consulate in your home country or we can apply for it for you from here. We would always recommend that we do actually apply for the Spanish golden visa for you from Spain because when it's granted, it's granted for a two year period. Whereas if you apply for it from the, your Spanish consulate in your home country, it's only granted for a one year period. OK, um, we would present your application electronically to the foreigners offers. And if, if applied for in your home country, you have to attend an appointment at the Spanish consulate. And the application fee is much more expensive uh, if you if you attend the Spanish consulate in your home country compared to us submitting it online. So that, that's actually a, a fee charged by the Spanish consul. Uh, typically, if you apply for the golden visa from Spain, it, it's granted within 20 days, uh, as opposed to, say, up to three months in your home country. And with the golden visa, which you apply for from, from Spain, you'll have that TIA card, which is a, a photo ID card for foreigners. You'll probably have that uh, one. You will definitely have that once the uh, approval has been obtained and you apply for it here in Spain. No TIA card is granted if you apply for the golden visa from your home country. So it's really it's actually quite useful, Marco, to have that TIE card because it's a photo ID card which you can walk around with in Spain and means you don't have to carry your passport. Um, if you apply for the visa at the Spanish consulate in your home country, it's called the residency visa 
for investors, what we commonly call it the golden visa. If you apply for it from Spain, it's called the initial authorization for investors residency, again, commonly known as golden visa. If the property is jointly owned, um, then by a married couple, uh, then, then in effect, only one of the spouses can apply as the main applicant and the other a spouse can apply as the investor's uh, dependent. And typically the stages are, it takes about say 60 days to get the documents together. Um, you have to register on the local census, the town hall. We would again, apply for your golden visa electronically here in Spain. Um, that's typically granted within 20 days. Applying for the TIE card uh, by arranging appointments at your local police station where you have to go along with a passport photo of your good self and you would have uh, fingerprints taken, uh, collected by the police, and then you'd have to return to collect the TI card when it's ready. And importantly, uh, renewals, the really have to prove that you've got sufficient financial resources to live on in Spain for that two year period. And after that two year period, it's then renewed for five years. Okay, and each renewal requires proof of financial resources, continued ownership of the original purchase, uh, purchased property, um, and you have to keep the medical cover in place. And you have to come to Spain and spend a minimum of one night here in Spain. If you're worried about becoming a tax resident in Spain or you want to become a tax resident, then the calendar year from a tax perspective starts on the 1st of January and ends on the 31st of December. And if you spend 183 days within the calendar year here in Spain, you're considered a Spanish tax resident and will pay tax in Spain worldwide assets and income. To check about the costs involved in applying for the Golden Visa, have a look at our website and um, where you can set out all the fees and costs because there's not only the, the costs, our costs, but also the, the visa costs, the consular fees um, and the uh, translations of the certificates which we can, we can help you with. But in, in effect, it's a straightforward process. We're experienced in carrying out and obtaining golden visas and TI cards for clients across Spain. And we're happy to be there for you when the time, is come, when the time comes for you to apply for your golden visa. Very interesting, Alex. I mean, I think that it's quite achievable these days with the fact that property prices are, are, are quite high, you know, that, and, and I think a lot of people will, will choose that um, prospect to get the uh, Spanish visa. And really what we've learned today is that it's much cheaper and quicker to carry out this process with legal representation such as yourself and that to be done in Spain. So do you actually need the applicant to come uh, and visit you, or can this be done totally digitally online with a, a power of attorney? When we we when we we can we can submit the application using power of attorney. But however, when we submit the application electronically, the applicant has to be here in Spain for us to do so. Okay, so, so the preparation, the initial the initial um, part that can be done electronically, and then the applicant needs to come to Spain so that you can do the rest from Spain. Exactly, exactly. So, so we'd always recommend you know, preparing all the paperwork beforehand, coming to Spain and then submitting it here once uh, clients have obtained or registered at the town hall for their um, census. And if they're buying a property, can this be done in conjunction at a preparation, let's say, at the same time as the, as, as the property sale is being going through the process, the legal process? Yeah. Absolutely. As soon as um, we've completed the property purchase for the clients, uh, on the day of completion, we'll receive uh, a copy of the deed um, and we can use that deed as evidence that they own a property in Spain. OK, and just to be 100 percent clear, because this question comes up a lot of the time, it's 500,000 investment in the property. And once that's been paid, that could be done in the main applicant's name and the spouse can be joined on to that same process of obtaining a visa on the back of, of the main applicant? That's, that's correct, yeah. And, and in effect, if anyone purchased a property from the 27th of September 2013 onwards, they have the, the, the option to apply for the golden visa. Okay, so this is retrospectively now as well? This is, this is retrospective. Uh, we, we are active clients who purchase properties retrospectively and also clients who are in the process of buying a property and who wish to apply for the golden visa. Of course, this law wasn't 
applicable to British people up oh, until 31st of December 2020 because the UK had left the European Union that, by that. But now that the UK has left the EU, this law applies to non-Europeans and, yeah. and therefore is applicable uh, to British people. Backdated to 2013, you say? Yeah, 27th of December 2013. Yeah. Alex, I think that's uh, all done and dusted for the gold, uh, the golden visa for today. Thank you very much, yeah. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bear in mind, everybody, that you can uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel um, mm -hmm. and you can keep in touch with Alex via the website and email available on GetSpanishResidency.com. Thank you very much. Thank you, and all the best. Bye now. Bye.